ancestors that are truly for our good only. today. I'm coming from the native spirit cards. The nature spirits. our ancestors, their bodies are buried within the earth. Flowers and plants bloom from our ancestors, the circle of life. So before winter hits, as the leaves are falling down, tap into those fallen leaves and the greenery that's still here. The fallen leaves tell a story. What do they say to you when you put them in your hand? What knowledge did they tap into before they fell? But they will soon rise again come spring. Hence, the four seasons of life and the four seasons on the earth. They mirror each other. We all have a fall season, a winter season, but then we have a spring season where we are rebirthed, renewed. 
and we manifest and bloom and blossom in the summer. And then the circle, the cycles of life start all over again. So tap into the nature spirits. That is the first card. Let's see what the other cards. buffalo you see even if it's snow on the ground you can still have manifestations and abundance this is what the buffalo card means abundance manifestation prayer affirmations feather of a powerful bird or any bird tap into the meaning of the bird if you find a feather on the ground at your feet in your eyesight research that bird and the spiritual power of the bird I flow in the Tawodi Heru spirit because I have a Tawodi Heru feather. I also flow in the Guga, the crow spirit, and the Gula Naf, the raven spirit. That's truly for my good only, me and my family's good only. So with this feather, even if it's a dove feather or a pigeon feather, you can hold it in your hand. And you can pray, ask questions to Divine Grace Spirit, your ancestors and your spirit guides, and then release it into the wind. The wind is the breath of life. It is the messenger of Divine Grace Spirit. So you release your prayer feather into the wind and you will receive answers like in a reading or like signs and symbols as you drive, as you thumb through a magazine, as you scroll online, as you drive somewhere, a sign or something on TV, someone will call you with a message. Tap in. Release. 
release your prayer feather into the atmosphere. What are the other messages? Spirit Keeper of the East. The sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. So, with the Spirit Keeper of the East, this is the sunrise energy. You're rising. Even if it's fall, autumn, winter, you can still rise. You can still rise. So, with the Spirit Keeper of the East, you have the Heru Tawodi energy, the Sun Falcon energy. Let's see what the book says. Spirit Keeper of the East. I get messages from the cards, but sometimes I like to see what the book has to say. Spirit Keeper of the East. A fresh cycle. We are on this fresh cycle of autumn. Starting again, starting all over again. Whatever happened in the past, those mistakes that you made in the past, you don't have to repeat that shit. So fall and winter is usually a time of going within being in that cocoon, then becoming a caterpillar, and then a butterfly. During the spring and summertime, you're blossomed and bloomed. But fall and winter is the start all over again. It's a new cycle. This is fall. This is autumn. Okay? We're about to fall into that deep sleep of meditation going within doing inner work once again once again now that was from divine great spirit ancestors and guides but the book says it talks about facing your fears in this dark time of the autumn the winter Facing your fears, looking in that black obsidian mirror, and facing your fears, and choosing to be fearless. A fearless warrior, warrioress. And come spring, new opportunities can be born to you. You're preparing for it. This is your preparation time, your prep time. And so a little tip of what I do, I stand and visualize. I'm standing in the center of the medicine wheel of healing. And I face the east. And I go counterclockwise first to deal with the past. And then I bring it back clockwise to deal with the present and the future. What will you meditate on as you turn counterclockwise first and then bring it home forward clockwise? What wisdom 
where you tap in of the past of your ancestors. Now, this is October, November. This is the season of tapping into the messages and answers from our ancestors. Tapping into their energy because it is heightened around this time. Sharing wisdom with us. What will you learn sitting at the feet of your ancestors? What lessons and words of wisdom will you hear and will you apply to your life? This is the time for our ancestors to rise within us. Like the sun rises in the east each morning, our ancestors' wisdom can rise within us. We'll do one more card because this was the first bonus card. It was just on top when I took the cards out. Let's do one more card. To make it five is four corners, four directions, four seasons, four cycles. And the fifth is in the center within us. That is where the divine grace spirit lives within us all. Dream Traveler, Dream Traveler. Our ancestors speak to us in dreams and in visions, and of course, Divine Grace Spirit does. But our ancestors and spirit guides try to get our attention in dreams and visions. Are you paying attention to your dreams? Especially the repetitive dreams, the dreams that you keep getting, or those dreams where you get the continuation and it's like a, a sequel or a series. Write it down. Have your dream journal ready. Write it down. They are revealing messages to you, and the spirit realm is really heightened around this time for us to receive these messages. So, Tap in, dream traveler. This is when you enter the spiritual realm, when you go to sleep, especially when you're in a deep sleep. You travel into the spiritual realm, and healing can happen there. Or you're doing a daydream, that's a meditation. What are the messages? Are you paying attention? Tap in now. Tap in now. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it on your own, I'm available. October, in the first week of November, I'm doing reading specials. Spiritual, oracle, tarot card readings to help you tap into the messages of your ancestors and spirit guides. And of course, Divine Grace Spirit. $25 a reading. That is my reading specials. And if you're doing parties around this time, this season, I charge $100. That can be up to 10 readings within that $100. So, if you have any questions, hit me up. I have the information in the comment section below. So, I want to say, peace, ashe, ayo. Oh, oh.